Um, I feel like I was just here yesterday because I was doing a class with you guys yesterday. So super excited to be with you today. We are going to be making this cute little uh, train, uh, Christmas train of the little Santa's elf, um, driving it. So we're going to walk through how to make it. So first of all, let me show you the supplies that you'll need. Um, they don't have to be these exact ones. We'll talk through some of your options. Um, first thing you're going to need is your um, blue Creatology craft kit. Um, it has most of our supplies inside that you're going to need. We're, we'll be using this. Um, additionally, you're going to need some kind of paint, uh, some markers. I'm going to use um, this orange one that comes in my Creatology marker, or uh, uh, I said marker, I meant brush kit. Be using this guy. Um, you'll need some paint. This is the set that I'm going to use and it has most of the colors that we need. You'll need um, some markers or some pencils or colored pencils or crayons or whatever you want to do to color our, uh, our little Santa's elf and our wheels. Um, you're going to need um, a little cup of water to rinse your paint out and some paper towels. And then the very last thing that you're gonna need is um, our template for today. This is what it looks like for today's class. So it's in the one to workshop page where you signed up for this class. There's a, there's a, a digital um, option and you can print out the template. If you don't have it already printed, not a problem. You can go print it out right now or you can just watch along with us, maybe do most of it, and then come back for the printed piece and you can add it later. It's not a big deal. Um, it's also okay if you don't have it. Maybe you just have a really cool train. Don't worry about it. Um, we're also gonna record this class. So it'll be listed on the website um, later tonight or first thing tomorrow morning, and you'll be able to go in and watch it. So like if you could go along and do everything and then get to the printout later, you have it and you can get it when you when you need it, when you're ready for it, all right? Everything good? I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'll show you what we're gonna work on today. And we're gonna get started by coloring our little elf. And this is our chimney for our train. And these are our wheels for our train. So our first thing is I'm gonna use these markers and we're gonna start coloring. Um, Chanel, if you, oh, you already read my mind. I'm going to move this in so you guys can kind of see what I'm working on here. We'll do it like that. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start coloring this little guy. Um, so I'm going to pull out my markers. Um, and we'll start with those. Okay, so since this is like a Santa's elf, he's wearing uh, like a Santa hat with jingle bells. I'm gonna start with my green, or excuse me, with my red. And we're gonna do like a Santa hat with the red. So this is where you can color with whatever you want. Um, we're gonna just kind of fill it in. I'm gonna go in with my red and fill it in. Uh, and we'll just color it and we'll just kind of give it Give him a red Santa hat. I'm trying to be outside over here so that you guys can see what I'm working on instead of working up like that where you can't see it. So there's my red Santa hat. I'm gonna give it a little gold jingle bell like that. You know what, I might pull out a jewel sticker at the end and stick it on top so it's like extra sparkly. Um, and then, Let's do, um, I'm going to leave his beard and his hair white, um, but we're going to do, uh, my Santa elf is going to uh, be brown. So I'm going to fill in my hands with some brown. And we'll do his little hands here. And we'll just do a little face. Make sure not to get the um, eyebrows or the mustache. 
Do you see how that looks? Like we've got, I just did everything, but all of his skin is going to be this brown. So I left the mustache and the eyebrows and the nose, and we're going to leave those white because our guy is old and he has gray and white hair, kind of like I have a lot of gray hair. And then what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to color in his nose because he's going to have like a, going to have a brown nose too. And then that's how we're going to do him. And then I'm going to give my Santa elf a green, um, green suit. So we're going to put green pants on him. Fill it in. Like that. And then we'll do his sleeves. And then fill him in like that. Because I don't want to fill in the buttons because we're going to do them yellow too. And then we'll do his sleeve over here. You guys can do your elf however you want. Um, and then I'm gonna give him some red details, okay? We're gonna do like a red cuff like that. And we're gonna do this little guy red. So he's got like a red edge of his suit. And this cuff is red, this cuff is red. And then, so that's what he looks like. I'm just realizing he needs brown ears too because his ears are gonna be this color of his skin. So I'll get my brown out, color in the brown on the ears. Okay. And then, the last thing that we're gonna do are our shoes. And we're gonna give our guy um, gold buckles and gold uh, gold buttons. And I'm gonna give him red shoes. And then we just need to do gold. And actually give him pink shoes. I changed my mind. Okay, there we go. Okay, there is my elf all colored. He's ready to go. Now, the next piece is we're gonna color our wheels. And the thing I like about these wheels is you can do however you want on these wheels. And then this is our chimney. This is this little piece right here that we're gonna color. Um, and I think I'm gonna do some, uh, I'm gonna do some red outline on my wheels. Like that, and just color it in. Do the same thing here. The nice thing is, is we're cutting it out. So if you go outside the lines, you just like cut it off and it doesn't matter. And then Okay. Okay. And then what I think I'm going to do on the inside of mine is I'm going to do blue and green stripes. So I'm gonna do little like triangles of blue like that. And color those in. So that it looks kind of like a wheel like that. Maybe like a little piece of candy inside. And then I'm gonna do a green on the inside too. Like 
that. That's going to be my wheel. Hey, so there's my wheel. So then you're just going to do that times two. And then this is just going to be, you can just color this one solid color, whatever color you want, because we can, we're going to use pipe cleaners and foam to put stripes on it and make it look striped and cool and make it look fun. So I'm going to do my My other wheel. Okay, I didn't do that very centered. That's okay. It doesn't matter. It's not perfect. It's not have to be perfect. That's what I like about art is it's like a time for you to like just do whatever feels good and just make it fun. I still think that looks good. And if we put like a big sticker in the middle, you won't even notice, it'll be just fine. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna do this guy just all red. And I'm not coloring it out perfectly because I'm gonna cut it out. So if, it, if I cross outside the lines, it's okay. Where are you guys joining our class from? Do we have anybody in a place where it's snowing today? I'm in Texas and it is not snowing in Texas. It is warm in Texas. If it's snowing where you're at, put it in the chat so we can hear about it. Okay, so once I have all of my pieces cut out, you can see I've got all of them cut. It looks good, they're ready to go. Or not cut, I've got them all colored. So now I'm gonna cut them out really quick. I'm gonna pull out my scissors, which are right here from my bag. I'm gonna use my, my scissors that came with my blue Creatology kit. And I'm gonna cut out my pieces first. And I'm going to put them just to the side because once we're done with this, then we're we're going to build our training. Okay. Okay. There's one wheel ready to go. Put it right there. Cut out my next wheel. Here's my next wheel. So now I have my two wheels. I'm going to cut out my train chimney. And maybe you decide that you want a different shape to go with your, with your, with your chimney. That's okay. But there's my chimney top. You put it back over there. And then now we're going to cut out our little elf. And I'm going to first cut off some of those pieces, those big pieces of paper. And I'm not going to get super detailed and cut out all of those little spots in there. I'm going to just kind of like carefully just maybe cut across it like that. So that I don't have to get like super detailed in between his like skinny little legs. Um, you just kind of want to like, and then here I'm going to do the same thing because it's going to be okay. I'm just going to kind of cut like around it, like a little bubble around my little elf guy because it doesn't have to be like exactly perfect. And then that way it also makes it so that it's harder for it to get like, um, uh, ripped if you're like hanging it on your tree it'll last longer that way cut them out over here 
down. Cut it around like that. Okay, and so there's my little elf guy cut out. Um, okay, so those are all the paper pieces ready to go. So now I'm going to throw this in the garbage and I'm gonna put away my markers and we're gonna move on to the next part, which is painting our sticks and then we assemble our train. Has anybody ever ridden on a real train? You guys? Has anybody been on a train before? Maybe a Polar Express around Christmas time? Anybody saying anything in the chat? We have a couple of people who are raising their hands. Okay. I'm done um, with my yeah, markers. we have a couple of people say that they've been on a train. Oh, very cool. I've been on a train before too. It was very fun. I liked it a lot. Move this over to the side. Move this back where you can see me. Okay. So now we're going to look at this and we're going to assemble our train. So I have one long two pieces and then I need two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, and nine. So I'm going to pull out nine popsicle sticks. And I'll show you how that's gonna work. I'm gonna pull them out from my kit. Inside my kit, there is a little package of popsicle sticks. So I'm gonna start with that first. Um, and I'm gonna pull out my little bag and I'm gonna pull out my nine popsicle sticks. And we're gonna, we're gonna kind of build it first and then we'll paint it after we're done, okay? So I need nine. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Put those over here. And then what we're going to do is you see how it has like these long on the back? We have these long pieces that the, the four pieces across are glued to. We're going to start with that. So we'll put two here like this. And this is going to be our top piece, that, like the cab of where our Santa elf sits. And then we're gonna have four pieces and let's make them a little bit closer like that. And then we're gonna have our four that go across like this, okay? So our first order of business is going to be to glue these guys down, okay? Now, if you have a, 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 a grown up with you, if you're doing this with your mom or dad or a teacher or an aunt or uncle, um, grandma and grandpa, if they have a glue gun handy, that's the fastest way to do it. But that's not something if you're a kid that you should do yourself. Your mom and dad or your, your grown up should help you with that. Um, so you have glue that come in your that came in your kit that looks like this. And I'll tell you a secret. It comes with this. So you've got a bunch of glitter glue. And then you have this white one that's just white glue. This white glue is called, it's some of the Creatology uh, glue. This is like the best glue that you'll ever use. Like I love this glue. I use it for all sorts of things. So you can use that. You can put glue down and you can dry it that way. Um, and what you'll need to do is you'll need to wait and let it dry before you move on to your next step. Um, so that is, that is one option today, because we don't have like a long time to sit and let it wait for it to dry. If you had time, let it dry, put your glue down and you would just, what I would do is I would just open it. Actually, I'll show you, we'll do it. We'll do two. Okay. So you can do a drop of glue like that, just down the, down the, down the long line like this. Do you see how I just put a lot, a, a lot, a straight line of glue? And then I would do it here too. Okay. And then you're going to line it back up. And this is where you're going to put your, your four pieces as you come across like this. And then you can like use your fingers to straighten them up. And then you just let it sit, but now you can see it. You can see how there's like um, pieces of glue sticking out. There's little globs of glue, but you just kind of have to wait. You can't start 
painting it now because it'll just keep falling apart. So like if I try to like pick it up, you can see how it kind of like will start to like tip over. It's actually a little bit more stable than I thought. The other thing you can do is if you have double-sided tape, you can use double-sided tape. We're gonna go ahead and let this dry a little bit while I keep assembling some of the other pieces, okay? So I'm gonna flip it over now. I'll just see if it will let me do it without messing it up. Okay, perfect. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach um, these, this piece right here, okay? So we're gonna do the part that sticks up for the chimney and the part that sticks down for the feet. And we're gonna take two pieces, except I don't need them to be the whole piece. So I need to make them a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna kind of use this guide to measure and I'm gonna say right there. And the instructions say to cut it with scissors, but you guys, this is a piece of wood. And unless you are crazy strong, and crazy sharp scissors, which you shouldn't be using if you're a kiddo, that's not really gonna work. So I'm gonna show you what I do. I'm just gonna break it like that. And that works, that works perfect. You can just totally just break it. And then I'm gonna take my next piece and I'm gonna make it the same spot. And you just put your thumb on both sides of where I want to break it. Like I wanna break it right here. And so my fingers are on both sides of that line and then my thumbs on top of it and I just push it like that and then it breaks right where I need it to. So now I have two pieces that are pretty much the same exact length. And then what you can do since I have all of these, like you see how it's got like little like things sticking off, you can trim those off with your scissors. That's what I'll come in and I'll do. And I'll make it so that it's not, not sharp. And now it's like really easy and ready to, um, easy to use. Okay. So you're gonna hide the rough edges. We're gonna make it so that you can't see the rough edges, okay? So we're going to use the ground edges and have them stick off the bottom like that. And then we're gonna use it like this, okay? So they're gonna stick off the same length as the bottom over here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Over here and over here. So I've made two daubs of glue, two lines of glue, that now I'm going to put my first one on and I'm gonna have it stick out the same length as the bottom so that the, they all line up across the bottom. And then I'm gonna do the same thing at the top. And this part at the top is okay if it's not perfect because we're gonna hide it. This guy is gonna go on top of it so you won't see it. So it'll disappear. So that part doesn't really matter. This is a great project because it doesn't have to be like exactly, exactly perfect. Okay, so now I have my, I have my bars across here. I have my bars here. I need to add a bar for my elf to sit on this little guy. And then I need a bar across the top to seal off the top of my train. So now, those all happen on, we're gonna add one more. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this guy in half, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of break it in half. Okay, we'll tr trim that up a little bit. Okay. So that's gonna be my piece across the top. So like that. So I'm gonna put that on the other side. But this piece right here that I just cleaned up, is gonna be what my elf goes on. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of glue right here like that. And I'm going to glue this piece on the back. So this is what it looks like. I've got four, four, four popsicle sticks in a line like a fence right down here. Then I've got two parts of one over here. This is gonna be my chimney top and the bottom is gonna be a wheel. And then this is going to be some more wheels. And this is where my elf sits. And this is the top, the, the cab like of a, of a truck where it sits. So this is what it all looks like. 
So I've almost got it all assembled. So the very last piece is going to be putting this across the top right there like that. And the way to do that, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here. It wants to blow out a lot of bubbles. Let's get rid of all these bubbles. There we go. Okay, so I put a little bit of glue there and I'm going to just set that on top and push it down. And then I'm gonna kind of just leave it alone for a few minutes because I want it to dry so that when I pick it up and start painting it, which is my next step, it's mostly ready to paint, okay? Um, so it needs it needs like anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes to dry. The other option, I'll show you how to do that really quick too while we're working on it, is if you have like, um, while this is drying, I'm gonna lift this over to the side, but you can use um, in the same way that you use regular glue, you can use, um, this is moving on me, you can use um, uh, double-sided tape. And this is just like sticky tape that you can like put on. We sell this at Michael's. You can just stick it on and then you can peel it off. And it makes it so that um, you can uh, do it really quick without waiting for anything to dry. You just peel this little layer off. Sometimes you have to work with it, get your fingernails in there. And so you see it leaves this tape on the bottom. And you peel that off like a sticker and then just kind of make sure that it's all there. And then you can like line this up and you can use that to stick it. And then suddenly it's dry automatically and it's ready to go. So that's another, that's another option that you have if you don't want to use a glue gun and you don't want to wait for your, your, your paint to dry or your, your wet glue to dry. You can also assemble it that way. So that's a really that's a really good option if you want to do it that way. So both of those are really good options. But we're going to keep waiting for this to dry and we'll use this to paint it here in just a second. And I might keep working on it with the glue or with the double-sided tape so that it doesn't, so that we can actually get to the point where we start painting it. Do we have any questions as we've gone through that you guys need me to answer while we're kind of in this like holding pattern waiting for some paint to dry? Um, so there hasn't been too many questions. There's been a couple of comments that their glue is not sticking, which, it sounds to me like it just needs to dry. Yeah, it 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 takes a little bit of time to dry. Yeah, it that is that is that is true. Um, and a lot of people have just been sharing the different things they're using instead of like, um, I think somebody said they they're using straws instead of popsicle sticks. Oh, what a great idea! Mm -hmm. What a good idea! That's a really fun idea. I like that idea a lot. And um, Laura just asked about glue dots, which I told her, great idea. Oh yeah, glue dots would totally work. Yeah, like anything that's gonna get it, masking tape, probably not so much. Scotch tape, probably not gonna work. Anything that you have to like make a loop and then stick it down, that's probably not gonna work. But like you can see that double-sided tape, like it's already ready for me to paint it. I could totally keep building it. Whereas this guy is still, you can see how wet that paint is. Like that piece is still moving. Like it's still, like it's still a little bit tricky. In fact, we might just keep letting this dry and I'll just finish, I'll build it up real quick with our, with our double-sided tape. And then we can, um, we can keep going with that so, so that we have time. But that's where sometimes like you have to do art projects and stages. Like it fully works that way, right? Where if you're painting a painting, lots of times you think you sit down and you paint it and you're done. But lots of times if I'm like painting like a painting like that I'm um, 
like a like a bigger painting, you have to do a back coat and you put your white layer down and you have to let it dry and then you put another layer down. So sometimes you just kind of have to wait. So you start something, set it aside and come back to it. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll work on, we'll do this one in our, um, with our, with our double-sided tape so that we can finish our project all the way today. And if you use glue, just know that it'll keep drying and we'll, we'll, we'll get you caught up. Okay. Um, so let me. Uh, finish building this really quick with my double-sided tape so that we can actually paint it because it's going to take a little bit while to dry. Um, this is going to be just a little bit of spot here. Let me just peel it like a sticker. Now uh, this is going to be my Santa stand. Really quick, assemble this while we're, we're while we're talking. Okay. I want to know what color everybody is doing their train. Are you already thinking what color of paint you're going to use? You guys ready? Okay. Gabby and Aubie said orange, purple, green, and blue. Ooh, nice. I like it. And Lee said blue. Okay, awesome. Amy said pink. Okay, very cool. We have purple, green, oh, a lot of people are coming in now. <laughs> purple, red, green, aqua, and orange. Nice. Um, we got another blue, we got a rainbow. Oh, we got a couple rainbows. Oh, we got a lot of rainbows actually. Uh, you know what? Yesterday we did some uh, abominable snowman. Like we did a pop-up abominable snowman card. And somebody said that they did a rainbow abominable snowman. And I thought, well, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Rainbows are great. I have a, I actually have a sign hanging in my bedroom. I kid you not that says I never met a color I didn't love because I think all colors are awesome. I'm just peeling this off. This is my last piece and then we'll be ready to start painting. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be our this train is going to be a little bit backwards actually not too bad we're going to tweak it so that this is here yeah I like that And then we're going to just move this really quickly to the other side. Put 
this guy is going to move to the other side. Okay, now we got him right. Okay, so now I have this guy ready. He's pretty, he's much more stable. He's ready to paint. Meanwhile, this guy is getting there. I mean, he's pretty close. He's, he's pretty good, actually. If you were waiting your whole time while we were building both of them, this guy could probably be pretty close ready to paint. So you could actually paint either one of them. So I'm going to um, clean up my mess from here and we'll get all of this stuff pushed up here where I'm going to pull out my paints. And this is where I'm going to, I'm going to um, put this guy up here. We're going to push him, let him dry push him down here. And this is where we might do some color mixing. Okay. So I have six primary like basic colors. And if I decide that I want to do a color other than these, then I can mix some colors, okay? And you guys know how to do that, right? You know that if I mix red and orange, or red and yellow, that makes orange. And if I mix blue and green, or blue and yellow, that makes green. If I wanted to make pink, I would add some white to some red. Um, if I wanted to make like maroon, I would add some black to some red. So like, it's kind of amazing with these three colors, these six colors, you can make any color in the rainbow. It's really cool. I don't know if you guys knew that. Um, I did art school and in my, one of my art classes, I had to use red, yellow, and blue and make at least 60 different colors. And I did it just using these three colors and then adding black or white to make it darker or lighter shades, which is kind of a fun thing to think about. Um, Maybe that's something that you could try uh, next time to just use three colors and mix all the colors that you want. What does happen if you mix all three of them together though, is it makes like a gross brown or a grayish color. So you wanna not mix too many colors together. But I think for my, um, for my guy, I'm gonna stick with like, I think I'm gonna do um, uh, some blue and some, uh, uh, some green. Um, and I think I'm going to stick with that. So I'm going to put this to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece of paper here to, 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 to mix some paint on if I need to. Okay. I'm going to mix it on that. Um, and so I'm going to mix a little bit of my blue dump a little bit out onto my, my paper plate here, or paper, there we go. And a little bit of my yellow. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my brush and I'm gonna scoot some of them together and meet them in the middle and keep adding some yellow until I get to like a green that I like. Can you guys see that? I'll lift it up so it's a little bit closer. So I'm gonna keep adding that yellow so that it gets to be a nice like green, like a Christmas green is what I'm looking for here. The nice thing is that you don't need a ton of paint for this because we're not doing like a ton of area, right? That's probably plenty. I think I might add a little bit more yellow into it. Let's see what happens. I'm just using my paintbrush to mix my color. Oh yeah, that's a good green. I like that. You can just see how that goes, you see? And so suddenly I have a big, beautiful, like green color that I really like. So I'm gonna kind of paint this guy like this. So I'm gonna go down the middle. I'm gonna paint the front, this front here, um, that green. This is where if you wanna do stripes, do your stripes, do whatever you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna come over here to this line and I'm gonna just go across. I'm gonna do a line down like that. You see how I did that? 
because I like how mine is the original is where I have the back part is blue and the front part is green. I'm going to do something similar, but with my new with my new paint colors. Okay, and I'm just going to fill it in. Get all the paint off of my brush, fill it in, and I'm going to paint this part here on the bottom. Even though we're going to cover this with stickers, this part it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to color it, paint it while I have it. I might do a couple of layers so that it looks like uniform. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, see, and I'm going to go ahead and paint up here, even though that's going to be um, mostly covered. We're going to still go up um, so that it still looks like any part that is not covered is still going to look really good. Okay. So that's what I've done first. I did that just, we're gonna just leave it like that. So now I'm gonna take most of the paint off of my brush and I'm gonna pick up a napkin and I'm gonna get a little bit of water on my brush and then I'm gonna wipe it off and get all of that first color paint off, get a little bit more water in here until it comes off clean like that. So it's mostly gone. We'll keep going a little bit here. Still got some. There we go. Now it's coming off mostly clean. You see there's no paint left in my brush. So now I'm gonna come in with my other color and I'm gonna do this blue. And I'm gonna kind of come out, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna do this other side blue. I'm gonna meet it like this, like that. And I'm gonna do all the bottoms like that. And I'm gonna just paint it until I get it to where I like how it looks. I just keep working on it. Okay, add some more blue. You could do something cool where you like blend the colors in where there's not a hard line. You could do where you have like purple, pink, green, blue, red, yellow, like, you know what I mean? You can do whatever strikes your fancy. I like this, I like it because it's like whatever you want to make, whatever your imaginary North Pole train looks like, that's what you get to paint, which I think is just really fun. And the nice thing about using acrylic paint is that it dries really fast, which is really nice. Um, and then I'm gonna hold it kind of on the bottom and I'm gonna paint going up to the top part. Okay, see, I'm painting the whole thing. I'll hold like this so I can get it better. Okay, so now I have my top all painted. That's all we're worried about. We don't need to paint the back because this is only a front facing thing. So I'm only gonna paint the top. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna put it in the paint like that and put it to the side. And now I'm done with my paint. I'm gonna pull it over, move it out of the way. And I have just my little um, uh, train that's all painted and I'm gonna wait just a few minutes for it to dry. The really nice thing is that acrylic paint dries really fast and it does something cool to tell you so that you know when it's dry. It turns from shiny, I'll show. hold it up so you can see it. You see how there's parts like right here where it's still shiny? If it's shiny, it's not dry yet. Shiny means that it's wet, but you can see over here where like this piece is all, it's not shiny anymore. It's kind of like just dull. That's dry. I can touch it and I'm not getting any paint on my finger. You can touch it. Whereas if I touch this spot over here, I got blue paint. So anywhere that's shiny, it's still wet. So that's a nice thing about acrylic that you can just put it down. And then when you can look at it and you can see that the, 
it's dull and it's not shiny anymore, then you know your paint is dry. And the great thing about acrylic too is that it doesn't take very long. It it, it goes really, really fast. Um, got paint on my band-aid, you guys. Okay, so the other great thing about acrylic paint is like if you don't have time to get up right now and go to the sink and wash off your brush, just put your brush in water and that will keep the paint from drying on your brush. And then you can go wash it out later when you're ready for it. So while this is drying, I'm gonna start pulling out some things and then move it up here. I'm gonna start pulling out some things from this kit that I think we might want to use to decorate our, our tree. Um, for instance, I think I'm gonna use these little uh, sticker jewels that might work really well to put some cool things on it. Like some of my, I'm gonna use some of those. These are like foam stickers. I think we're gonna use some of those and pull some of those out. Um, we could pull out, I'm gonna pull out some of these guys, some uh, glitter glue, that could be fun. And I think I'm gonna pull out um, some uh, pipe cleaners. Ooh, actually, we're gonna pull out the sparkly pipe cleaners. I think that would be even better. And then let's see what else do we have in here. There's feathers, there's more foam, all sorts of options uh, for things that we could do um, if we wanted to. But I think this is good to start with. So I'm gonna push that back. And then I think now we're ready to put our, our pieces on it. Okay. So I'm gonna pull out the pieces that we colored earlier. Um, and I'm gonna use a little bit of that glue. Um, actually, I'll just use my double-sided tape again. Um, and I'm going to uh, uh, attach my uh, chimney and I'm gonna use it to attach my elf right here. Okay, and so now I'm gonna peel off my stickers. Okay, so that's gonna be my chimney right here. I'm attach that there like that. Okay, so there's my chimney. You see that? I put that down. I'm gonna peel off my double-sided tape here. Work on it here. There we go. There we go. Peel off that. Pull the edges down here like that so it all sticks. Put my little Santa on here. Here's our, here's our little Santa's elf. Okay. And then now it's time to put these guys on. And where's my tape? Peel off my double-sided tape. Peel off two little pieces. And just we're gonna put it right on there because that'll be easier. And then I'm going to peel it. And I'm gonna do it like this guy and I'm gonna put these two at the front and then two little ones. Cause that's kind of what an actual um, train looks like, right? They have the big wheels, put that up here like that. And then we'll peel this one. Let's see, how are we doing on time? And then we will put this guy here like that. Okay, so those are all the pieces that we colored earlier, ready to go. So now, now we can decide if we want to, I think I want to use some of these guys for sure. I can tell you right now, I want to use one of these little bitty yellow ones 
to be my jingle bell on my on my on my guy up here. So now he has like a sparkly jingle bell. See how I did that. And then I might do some more on the on the on the buttons of his. Then I'm gonna give him one big like sparkly button. Oh. There we go. Okay. And then we can put, we could put here, let's put a big um, one in the middle here on this guy. And then we'll do the same color on the other side. See how that looks. So there we go there. Oh, guy came up here. Okay, so we got those in there. And then I'm gonna use some of these to decorate, to make some smaller wheels over here. Let's see, where does it go? Right here. And I think I'm gonna, let's see, what do we have here? Ooh, I'm gonna do some red ones. Let's see, where's the other, where's another red? Hmm. Well, just, maybe it's just got three wheels like that. Or it's got a red and a pink. Ooh, I like that. So now I'm gonna peel these because these guys are stickers. And I'm just gonna stick it like that. And there's my pink one. And this is where it just gets fun. You just like decorate however you want. Oh, that guy keeps wanting to come off. There we go, that's better. Stick it down good. Okay, so then you can stick it however you want. And then I can add some more jewels if I want to do like little purple ones in there, like the spokes of that wheel. And then the other thing that I think I might try is I'm gonna add um, some pipe cleaners in our last few minutes. And I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do a green sparkly one like this, like that, there you go. And I'm gonna do it around here like this and kind of just wrap it around this guy. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna tape, I'm gonna bend this over in the back and I'm just gonna kind of wrap it around this so that suddenly it kind of has like a sparkly green chimney. One more time around. And then the nice thing about these pipe cleaners is that you can cut them and then we can just fold it over on the back. And then I have like a green sparkly chimney you could wrap some other pieces around if you wanted. Um, I think I'm gonna do a purple, let's see, we're gonna do a purple star right here. And so this is where it just gets really fun. You can do whatever you want on your train to make it look super cute. I actually really like how that looks. Can you see that? I think it looks really fun. Um, you can keep going, like you could do dots, like you could do a million things. If you had cotton balls or pom-poms, so you could put some pom-poms across with some glue. You can do a lot to make it look really fun and look really easy. Um, these are also fun because you can um, cut these up. So if you wanted to add stripes to your, so this is like a, one of those foam stickers. 
and I can cut it and then peel it. And now instead of a big stripe, I have a little um, line and I can put that on there. So now I have like a foam uh, line across my chimney. Anything that you want to do with your with your little guy, you can. So that is what we have for the class today. If you want to come out to my face, I'll hold it up here so that you guys can see it better here at this angle. That might be easier. Um, but I think that looks super duper cute. Um, you can like whatever you can imagine you can make with this. Like it could be a million different colors, a million different items, whatever you want, you can make it look really, really cute, which I think is really fun. And then once it's all dried and like finished and ready, I would hang a little piece of string through here and hang it on my Christmas tree. And that could be a Christmas tree ornament, or you could make a bunch of them and you could have them be a garland, like hanging across your fireplace. Like, oh my gosh, it's so darling. Or you could write somebody's name right here and put it on a present and have it be like a present tag. Like think about how cute that would be. Oh my gosh, so adorable. You can do a bunch of things with it. Um, but I have had so much fun with you today. I hope you had fun making our uh, Christmas uh, popsicle stick train. Um, are there any questions that anybody has in our last few minutes before our time is up that I need to answer, Chanel, that I didn't answer while we were going through the project? Um, no, I'm not seeing any questions. Okay, just awesome. Bye. All right. Thanks, everybody. I hope you had a great day. We'll see you later.